guys, we're going to do a little uphill MIG with two machines. One, the one I just got is the Miller 252. That we're going to run 035 solid wire uh, with it. And then on my other Miller, we're going to run 035 dual shield flux core wire. We're going to see how they run. And right here's my plates I'm going to do. I'm going to do two sides with one and two sides with the other. Then we're going to look at them and see what they look like. Alright, first up is the dual shield flux core.
That's the first one. Sorry about that. My daughter came in the shop. She likes to come up here. What? It's a lot easier to go uphill.
my daughter putting right up here every time I drive away up. But, anyways. Now let's compare the two. Here's the solid wire with the Miller 252. It's got a little build up, a little crown to it. If I mess with it, I didn't even practice. If I'd have messed with the settings a little bit better. It would have looked a lot better. Like I said, I just got that welder and I ain't had it long. And that is the solid wire, 035. It ain't great, but I could fine tune it and get it better. But with the dual shield plus core wire, you don't have to oscillate it. Almost any setting you set it on, you just go straight up. The bead sits flat, and you know it's in there deep. It runs like a 7018. The solid wire is a little harder to, you've got to fine tune the amperage and the wire speed to get it, that crown to go away. Well, I was just practicing with my Miller 252 I just got. And I'm gonna keep my solid wire in this 35 and then my Miller 211 is what I keep my dual shield flux core in. That way I don't have to change them out. The 252 is a lot bigger welder, as you can see. I've got the little spool in it right now, but it holds the big one. what my settings was. I like it. It's got this little cheat sheet in it. It kind of gets you close, but you always got to fine tune it in some. With my Miller Matic 211, you really don't know what you're welding with. It's got this auto set, but I usually don't do the auto set. I fine tune it because I don't like the auto set. But if you ain't never welded before, 
I mean, it gets you pretty close. Well, here's the uh, cheat sheet on this. It's inside the door. This one right here, I can run on 110 or 220. That's what I like about this one. My 252 only runs off of 220. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.